It's the morning cryptos, as in M O U R N I N G, morning cryptos. Things seem to be quite down. So uh, let's start the music and see if we can lift our own spirits. <laughs> And so I woke up this morning, and while the coffee was, uh, the water was boiling, I uh, I just took a quick peek. Ouch. Um, we are down all the way to this line. Let's see if I actually did that. No. I clicked it. There we go. We are down to the lowest point that it has been. So there was some support here. We had a little whisker. Uh, we had a little cluster of support over here. Um, so that's really a concern. Yowza. Right? And it's and this is the moment when it's just like, how do I buy here? Right? How do I buy this dip? Because it sure seems like it's going to keep dipping. It's hard to buy when it looks like the momentum is going down. So that's, you know, that's the question. And the crowd is going, uh, I don't know. I don't think I want to buy. And so it's really hard to go against the crowd right now and go, okay, I'm going to buy. Particularly Bitcoin, which still isn't fast, still isn't scalable, still costs a lot to transfer. Although, now that it's not at $20,000, evidently the network is opened up a little bit. So it doesn't take quite so long. Okay. And it doesn't cost quite so much. So is Bitcoin dropping back to its, its you know, level of ability? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of like the Peter principle. If you do really well, they, uh, they, <laughs> they promote you to a level, to the, finally to the level of your incompetence, right? Anyway, so let's look at the news. Let's see what's going on here with the news. Bitcoin price first is I get some news that way. Bloop. Nine thousand three hundred thirty dollars. India Bitcoin prices drop as media misinterprets government news. So we have more FUD. God. Bitcoin sinks below ten K after a hundred thirty three billion January loss. Factor FUD. Pressure drives crypto markets down almost 20%. Okay, so I don't know if I want to read any of that stuff. Let's just look at the India the India story quickly. Media misinterprets government regulation. Bitcoin markets are reacting to fresh regulatory comments on crypto from India's finance minister. Made during his most recent budget speech today, February 1st, so it must have happened several hours ago, uh, after he noted in his speech that cryptocurrency is not legal tender in the country and promised a crackdown on illegitimate activities involving crypto, a flood of misinterpreted comments warning of an outright ban appeared across the mainstream press and social media. So rumor mongering, as usual. Um, okay. So when there's rumors, I go to Twitter... And Joseph Young, let's go to Twitter. Do, 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 do. By the way, you can follow me on Twitter. I don't post much, but I used to. <laughs> I have 31,000 tweets. I have 9,000 followers. No, I'm following. I have 13,000 followers, and most of them who have no idea who I am. So let's let's type in here Joseph Young. There he is. I am Joseph Young. What the hell is he talking about? Okay, wrong interpretation. Bitcoin is illegal. Correct interpretation. Bitcoin cannot be used as legal tender. Bitcoin cannot be used for illegitimate activities. In what universe does this look like a ban? Indian Finance Minister said it will eliminate uses of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin in criminal use cases. Nice try. Mainstream media took it as it will eliminate uses of cryptocurrencies and forgot the rest. Thank you, mainstream media. Um... 
And here's what he said, Union Budget 2018-19, distributed ledger systems or the blockchain technology allows organization of any chain of records or transactions without the need of intermediaries. The government does not consider cryptocurrencies legal tender or coin and will take all measures to eliminate use of these crypto assets in financing illegitimate activities or as part of the payment system. The government will explore use of blockchain technology proactively for ushering in digital economy which is almost more frightening, really, to think of the government getting into blockchain and creating their own their own cryptocurrencies. What, what, what's to stop them? The, a 13-year-old kid can do it. Why not a government? Well, okay, so Joseph Young goes on in an earlier tweet, no, Bitcoin price drop has absolutely nothing to do with India's finance minister executive. Next week, Bitcoin is down because a PBOC official called it a fraud in his sleep, <laughs> right? Um, people started to find out shouting HODL and actually HODLing is very different. HODLing Bitcoin and any other cryptocurrency requires patience and depth of knowledge in the tech that supports it. Okay, people upset about buying at 19,000 and it's stuck at 10,000. Many of us bought at 1,000 and stayed down in the low hundreds for a long time. It sucked, but we made it through because we believed in tomorrow, not just today. So that's the deal, people. This shit happens, the market goes up, the market comes back, and uh, let's just see if there's something different in the news, Bitcoin news. And again, people, I'm not a news show, I'm not an expert on any of this stuff, I am a guy who wakes up every morning, makes his coffee, and tries to figure out what the fuck is going on. <laughs> hmm. And if you like that, give me a thumbs up and subscribe! <laughs> if you don't like it, that's okay too! All right. Okay, I, I just I just did a search and I didn't look at it. Uh, Arun Jaitley has just killed India's cryptocurrency party. Blah blah blah. Bitcoin already on a half off sale is still overvalued by fifteen percent. Okay, CNBC. You know they hire they get anybody on NBC, CNBC, and they flap their lips. And anyway, people, Bitcoin's down. Buy some Bitcoin. Right? Buy low, sell high, right? It's easy to say that, but I actually probably will buy some Bitcoin today. Although I'm a, I'm still liking Bitcoin Cash better than Bitcoin. And I'm still liking uh, Cardano better than that. I still like Dash better than that. I still like EOS better than that. They're all down. No, no big news here. No big predictions. No big technical trading. Although Ethereum, wait, 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 back up the truck. Ethereum's up. We have green on Ethereum. Okay. But Ethereum's way, way up. Like, I'm not going to buy it here, right? It's just not. I've been I've been trained not to. But it's still hard to buy when it's down. I got to tell you, it's hard. IOTA. This is, holy shit, $1.94. Got to get me some IOTA. The problem is the stuff that I would buy it with is also down. So that's my conundrum. And that's why U.S. dollar tether was quite convenient, but now not not to be used. Too dangerous. Which I'm just scrolling through. Neo is down finally. Okay, good. Might not be a bad time to buy Neo if it's going to go to the moon, but I don't know anything about Neo, and I keep not learning about it. So I have other things I'm working on. So there's a limit to how much I can hold in my head. Okay, so Omise Go is down. Quantum's down, but not horribly down. You know, it's like quantum has just come back to its level of support. So a level of support, you know, maybe maybe the level of support is really kind of here, in which case quantum probably will come back to it today. And if it does come back to it, that might be a buy signal, right? And obviously you have to make your own decisions here, but we had a lot of pump and now we're having some dump. That's what's going on. And People are panicking. The people who are in up here are getting scared, right? And I know that feeling because I'm in above the market in a number of the projects that I'm in. But I believe in the projects. Uh, EOS is a project that I believe in, and it's my long-term hold. However, <laughs> it's easier for me to hang on with EOS because I got in down here back in November. Let's, let's get rid of this volume just real quick. I got I got in here, down here, you know. I originally got in in July, but I wasn't patient enough to wait as it 
kind of slowly tailed off, right? This is when I should have been buying EOS, right? I knew it was a good project, but I didn't have the experience to know, okay, as it tails off, I'm just going to keep buying, you know, so that when it lifts, boom, we're good. Uh, but it's still only a 10 bucks, right? EOS is going to be a hundred dollar coin. It's going to be a thousand dollar coin at some point, right? Project. Let's call it a project, not a coin. But how do you buy when everything is down and it just seems like it's the end of the world, right? One way you do it is you stop listening to the mainstream media and you start listening to seasoned and experienced traders. Like I said yesterday, crypto grinders, data dash, crypto investor, three of the best teachers that I've found in this space and I've searched. I've looked, there's a lot of people who do a lot of technical chart crap, but those guys know what they're talking about. And if you want to learn it, watch me only to see what someone else like you is doing and then watch them, right? Um, and you might teach me something. I've learned a lot from my team. My son does this, my friend Mike, and we have been helping each other. <coughs> And there's things I've taught them, things they've taught me, projects they've turned me on to. So one of the big pieces is to have a team, have your own little crowd so that you can support each other and going, okay, we know theoretically it's time to buy when the markets are down, but it's scary to buy when the markets are down. It's just literally scary. Let's look at Cardano against Bitcoin. There we go. And we have Cardano against the US dollar. It is down to 42 and I'm in at a dollar. I'm in at like 86. I'm in at 75, right? It's hard to hold those positions, except I know that this is a project that's going to take five years. And in five years, a dollar is going to seem really freaking cheap. Um, and again, this is the US dollar tether chart, and I'm just using it because I can't seem to find, and I don't want to, I'm too lazy to take the time to find uh, a US dollar chart. So let's go to um, World Coin Index, because they they have some decent US dollar charts. So let me look at that instead of tether. Um, and as you'll notice, Ethereum is like the only green as we scroll through these. Cardano. Do, 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 do. Of course, this one's a slow. Bitcoin Diamond is up 189%. Like, that stuff is freaky. When something that shouldn't be up is up, I'm a little mistrustful of it. Okay. So here we have a seven day US dollar chart on Cardano. And I'm like going, okay, maybe I'll dump my NXT and just buy more Cardano. Do you know what I mean? Maybe I should do that. Or maybe what should I do? I don't know what to do. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> right? Mostly it should just, on these down days, I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to hang in. I'm going to hold. I'm, I'm going to walk away from the markets and not look at it because your emotions are like your most dangerous adversary. Your emotions, your fear, your willingness to hear the negative news and to make the negative news louder and bigger than the positive news. And the positive news is this shit hasn't crashed. It's just dipped. And <clears throat> we are going into the whole Chinese New Year thing. So, and there's been some FUD. So there's always a recovery after FUD, you know, not a bad time to buy some more. So that's my next question is, I'm going to finish this up and figure out, can I buy more Cardano today with something else that I have? Even if it's a little bit, I want to feel like I'm doing something intelligent <laughs> in the face of this. So people, that's it for today. It's a short one. Yesterday I went probably too long anyway. So uh, we're going to keep it short today. Today, manage you Buy something that's really down, buy a little bit of it just to practice and to explore your emotions of, hey, this $100, go to Coinbase and put 100 bucks into uh, Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash or Litecoin or Ethereum. I wouldn't do Ethereum because it's up. Buy anything that's down, just practice, put 100 bucks in or 20 bucks, whatever it is, 
you can stand and just sit in it and see how it feels. Because it's an experience like when you hit, when you buy something here, when everything else is down, you feel really smart then later when it rises, right? But that's the flip side of the coin. You never know. Has it really hit its bottom? But we know the marketers are here. If you watch my program from yesterday, uh, the, uh, the marketers are here and they're going to bring more people. The hype is going to rise. And if you look at the past year, the last 12 months, all the cryptos are still up hugely, right? At this time last year, I was just trying to get my Coinbase account set up and I was freaking out as a newbie because when I applied to get in and start that going, uh, Bitcoin was at 700 bucks. Like the next week it was at 900 bucks. And I was like, oh shit, I've, I've missed it. <laughs> right? So watching our thoughts is the most important job we have as individuals who are attempting to learn how to trade. So people keep that in mind today. Focus on what you're feeling and see if you can step outside your feelings and get to kind of a neutral place so no matter what happens, if it goes up or down, you're okay because this is a massive global video game that we're playing, really. That's it. And the benefits are far beyond financial because if you can learn to master your own mind in the process of markets dipping... And again, this is self-hypnosis as well. I'm telling this to me. And if you want to listen and get the benefit, great. But the bottom line is, this is the moment when the crowd is now going that way. And we have to turn and go right back into it. And uh, it's, it's the use of a down day. So anyway, I think I'm going to find a way to get some Cardano today. For 42 cents, 100 bucks, you can buy quite a bit of Cardano for 100 bucks. So let me see what I can do. All right. That's it today, people. I love you folks. Please subscribe, do all that stuff, thumbs up, and ring that bell, and I'll see you in the next one. And I got a ton of music that I'm going to be uploading today. Uh, I finished it yesterday and uploaded it and then forgot to hit publish. So uh, there will be some music, so check that out. It might actually lift your spirits and uh, help you through this challenging time because we're going to get through it. It's going to rock. We're going to have a very, very, very renewed bull market coming. So get in position and be prepared for it. That's what I think. That's my opinion. And I'm sticking to it for now until I change it. All right. Start the music. <laughs>